Dear students and parents, welcome to the test prep card channel. In this video, we're going to discuss about Karnataka Common Entrance Test. That is Karnataka Common Entrance Test exam mode. So the mode of exam, I'm going to tell you about this KCET 2021. More so, it will be very important for you if you uh, are planning to write it in the year 2021. The mode of exam, you should be very clear about how you are going to proceed about it. And then accordingly, you can actually fine tune your preparation to match the mode of examination itself. You know that due to the testing times of COVID crisis all through the 2020, most of the exams that were actually conducted in the offline mode also were actually overnight transformed into an online mode examination because in online mode examinations, it's easier for you to maintain social distancing and also it's easier for them to uh, kind of take all the precautions because while you are uh, appearing in an offline mode, you have to write it on sheets and the sheets could also serve as a contaminant to spread the COVID infection uh, because the virus could actually stay for some time uh, outside for a few hours on any surface. So the sheets in the offline mode could serve as those surface. So to avoid that possibility of spread of an infection as contagious as COVID-19, most of the examinations were actually made online. Now, regardless of that, one needs to be prepared for every kind of an examination that one may be setting in. KCET examination is definitely going to be uh, on online uh, mode or offline. I'm telling you that in this video, but the video will be covering uh, the, the trend of examination, the, the uh, various marks across the various sections that you have to prepare for, such as physics, chemistry, mathematics, and the mode of exam. So the mode of exam is going to be offline, but the application process, which I have actually briefed you about in another video at this test prep card channel itself, that was online exclusively. And the fee payment was both offline and online. So just keep it in mind that the examination is going to be offline. Fee payment was both online and offline and the application process was exclusively online. So this is all the information that you need to keep in mind at this stage for the KCAT 2021 examination. Let's proceed ahead with the video, but I would request you to completely watch the video because it will be very informative for you, especially for those who are preparing for the KCAT examination 2021. And let's get started with the video, but also do refer to the document prepared by the test prep card team, DASSC IWG candidates document. Now the mode of examination, as I told you, is going to be offline for 2021 KCAT examination. Type of questions, the paper is a multiple choice type of questions. You would have had a look at the previous year question paper. You would have already known that it's a MCQ based question format. And the duration of examination is one hour, 20 minutes, which is equivalent to 80 minutes for each paper or subjects, namely physics, chemistry, mathematics. So let me uh, tell you more about the maximum marks. Maximum marks for each paper will be 60 marks. Uh, the total will be because three papers you have to attempt three subjects. So 60 into three will be 180 marks. Now marking scheme for each correct answer, you will get one mark will be awarded. And thankfully, fortunately for most of you who are not very sure about some of your answers, there will be no negative marking. Let me tell you that for your incorrect in response. And that's a huge leverage. So you can uh, calculatively guess much more with the less uh, disincentive, no negative marking will be done for your incorrect responses, while one mark will be awarded for all your correct responses in the MCQ format. That is the multiple choice question format. So the maximum marks each paper will be of 60 marks, as I told you, and the total will be 180 marks. So which are these subjects that we are referring to? The three subjects would be based upon which stream do you want to continue in if you qualify the KCAD examination, if it's engineering streams, then physics, chemistry and mathematics. Each of the subjects as I have briefed in an earlier video, in the other video, uh, at this uh, test prep cut channel platform itself, which is about uh, the various sections that are there. So for physics, 60 marks is there. Uh, and then chemistry is another subject. Usually they are conducted on the same day. This year, 2021, it's going to be 8th of July, but you can refer to the other video on the important dates for KCAT 2021 exam for that kind of an information. Here I would be just be giving you an idea about how the mode of examination is and what is the breakup of the weightage across the various subjects that are part of the KCAT. Physics chemistry is usually held on the same day and each section is of 60 marks each. One mark will be awarded for each question that you have a correct response and there will be no negative marking. For mathematics, which is usually the preceding day of these physics, chemistry, mathematics, mathematics usually precedes the physics, chemistry examination. 
uh, as is the case this year 2021 7 july will be the maths examination perhaps and 8 july will be the physics and chemistry combined exam but it is in different sessions one usually is in the morning session the other one in the evening or the afternoon session but remember that each of the three sections for 60 marks will have one hour 20 minutes of duration that equates to 80 minutes the total will be 180 marks and if you are for a medical stream you will have to write instead of mathematics the biology which again is for 60 marks and one hour 20 minutes of paper so this was all that you need to know about the mode of examination for the karnataka common entrance test i hope this video seems to be productive for you for your preparation ahead and i would like to wish you all the best for the upcoming examinations stay positive stay safe stay healthy stay at home prepare yourself well for the upcoming examination and i am certainly sure that you will be doing well do refer to the other videos on kcd exam at the test prep card channel and do refer to the documents prepared by the test prep card channel because the team is doing really hard work for all you guys to fine tune your preparation in the upcoming times the covid could actually witness the second wave as well so please stay safe at home and be prepared with examinations in the offline mode as well take all the precautions and i wish you all the best and the best of luck thank you